How many of you guys own a book? Raise your hands. Okay. How many of you don't? Okay, I win a minute here. So, as we know, if you own a book, you know that it holds creativity and inspiration. It captures a place. And what I'd like to do is publish books that do this for kids in Indianapolis and beyond. I also want to publish books from national authors. We get our inspiration from Pogue's Run, which starts on the east side. This is the art park, runs through downtown. It runs underground downtown Indianapolis and then into the White River. And this is an apt metaphor for our commitment to place-based writing, collaboration, graphic novels, and other interesting projects. And the power of owning a book for a child is really indescribable. Uh, middle, uh, middle class kids get to kindergarten and they've been read to 1,000 hours, 1,000 hours. For a low, low income kid, that's only 25 hours between ages two to five. And what we'd like to do is partner with Second Story, uh, Big Car, other groups in the city and change that. This is where, this is in uh, East 10th Street in Cottage Home where uh, my New York Street where Pogues Run goes underground. Um, and so there's certainly something to be said about um, having uh, this kind of publisher in town, independent, nonprofit, committed to publishing for kids. And to do all this, we're going to run uh, contests for national writers. So that, that way, we're getting writers from across the United States, around the world, publishing in Indianapolis. Uh, we'll have one contest about place-based writing in the Midwest. Uh, very important to have both urban and ecological writing happening and being published in our town. Uh, another thing we'll have is collaborations. This is uh, the graffiti where Pogues Run empties into the White River. And these collaborations, too many books today have one author, uh, one poet, one photographer, and we want to have something where people can work together and send us that work and we can publish it. Another new medium that's really taken off is graphic novels, the combination of novels and comic books. And, it's, and this medium should have an independent publisher where people can send their shorter work and have it published. They don't have to go to a big house or anything like that. Uh, so with these four contests, our fifth contest and our most important contest is a book for kids. And every year, the, winner, the winning book will give away 1,000 copies of this book to kids in Indianapolis that don't own a book. So, so the kids like here, uh, by partnering with Second Story, uh, kids can have their own book uh, they can have the writing in that book, and just to, I can't, you know, for us that own a book, you know, I own thousands of them, that you just can't describe what it is to feel that paper, to see your name on that paper. And we can do all of this in the closet at the Wheeler Arts Community Building in Fountain Square. The technology is so advanced, we don't need a big computer lab, we don't need um, a big printing press, all we just need is a small space, and with the technology and all these other things, we can produce so many books um, in this small space. Uh, and here's the copier that we'll use. Yes, it's a copy machine. I know it looks a little bit smaller because I'm a little bit of a bigger guy, but <laughs> it will fit in that closet. We can make um, 50 to 60 page books, so we're going to mostly do shorter books for kids and, and these other contests that we're going to do. And we can uh, do it all on this machine. And right here, this is the cost of printing these books. We can do a 32 page book color cover, card stock, for $1.14 a book. And these are high quality books. These are high quality books. Many publishers across the United States do these shorter runs like this with these kinds of books. And that means for $1.14, we can put a book into a kid's hand that doesn't own a book. Um, and for a kid, again, to see their name on paper, um, to own a book, to take it home with them, to hide it under their bed, to only share it with themselves, but it's greater than that. They can share it with other people. These books are going to capture the creativity. Where these kids live in Indianapolis, it's going to capture those places too. It's going to capture these kids' inspirations. And to do all this, we're going to use college students because they need something to do. And, <laughs> and I, work, I work with them all the time. We'll use interns from UIndy. We'll use interns from all the other colleges in Indianapolis. And Butler. And IUPUI and Marion and all these. And uh, with this, they'll learn valuable skills in copy editing, book design. And for me, you know, this is a picture of the State Library, a beautiful, beautiful building. And for me, the book is not dead, okay? I don't want the book to die. And this is a way, this is a way to keep the book alive. We can partner with the State Library, the Center for the Book. That gives us access to over 200 libraries across the state. Those libraries can send us their writing from their programs. We can print it. 
Uh, we can also work with local universities, publish their literary magazines. We can work with other nonprofits so they don't have to go to Kinko's three times a week. We can, if, if a uh, gallery opening needs a book, we can publish that. Theater needs a, theater production needs a program. We can do that too. And so, you know, and this is Pogue's Run uh, near, again, but to me it's an inspiring place. You know, I love, I love being outdoors and I love that there's this natural place down a ravine near Cottage Home. Okay, and so this inspiring place can be captured in a book and it can be passed on. And with all this technology, it's going to allow us to go beyond Indianapolis. And here's our worldwide distribution center, the post office. And our fleet of trucks, you can see right here, it's, it's even parked over Pogue's Run, the blue line that runs through downtown. And so with all, the, all this capacity, we can, have these, we can have writing from anywhere sent to us, we can print it and ship it. It's that easy with a copy machine and a staple binding. So that's going to allow us to go beyond Indianapolis, beyond the White River pictured here, where Pogues Run empties into it, and really spread beyond Indianapolis and capture places, capture knowledge, capture creativity from beyond Indianapolis, as well as within Indianapolis. And so, um, with, uh, and here's looking, oh, come on, guys. Stay, stay awake at the wheel back there. Um, with, uh, with all of these contests, we're bringing writers into Indianapolis, we're publishing books for kids, um, and uh, come on, my, my last slide's really good. So is this, am I done yet? Is this uh, 640? So uh, with all this capacity, we can uh, publish these five contest books, that's five books every year. And with that $1.14 price tag, now sure, something's going to be a couple more dollars, but that's going to allow us to publish uh, many, many books every year. And this right here, outside at the IMA, 2,138. We can walk out of here tonight with this award, hire six college students to work for us, run these five contests, and this is how many books we can give away this year. And we can still be set up to do this again and again and again every year, publishing literally hundreds of books for kids. Thank you.